A lot of fastballs up in the zone. Deep shot, center field. Loriano going back, going back. Gone. Juan Soto. A three run shot. Yankees lead 6 0. This is what happens when you get in the middle of the lineup and you start giving up the walks. The walk to Torres scored. Verdugo scored. You get behind 3 0. Flash another 89 mile an hour four seamer from McKenzie. Well, he just had the feeling in game one, so many opportunities to blow it open. The Yankees did not do it. They were able to hold on, but now a 6 0 lead. On a three run blast from Juan Soto, his third of the year. That brings up Aaron Judge with two down here in the fourth. Judge 0 for two, fielder's choice, and a ground out. Well, you're just not going to get an 89 mile an hour heater by someone like Soto. A 3 0 fastball, and that was belt high. And he crushed it to center field. It'll be another walk, another look at the swing. Well, belt high, and he has the green light, obviously, every time he gets 3 0 in a 3 0 count. What you love about this swing, Nelly, a 3 0 count. You see a lot of hitters get over aggressive and try to pull the baseball. That was a 3 0 swing to the middle of the field, trusting that he had enough power to get it over the wall. And another conversation with pitching coach Carl Willis. Well, you look at a lot of the great hitters, and what do the great hitters look to do? You know, watch, watch this. It's, they don't look to pull all the time. Where do they look to? Opposite field, like right center field. If you're if you're Soto, you're probably looking at left center field, and that's where you want to hit the ball most of the time. Freddie Freeman with the, with the Braves now with the Dodgers. One of the best hitters in baseball. What does he do? He looks to left center field, and that's where he wants to take the ball. Now he'll pull on occasion. Waldo Cabrera has the best seat in the house right there. You can learn a lot just by listening. <laughs> 